Okay, guys. <clears throat> um, let's do a quick video to explain to you how I did the hydraulic uh, clutch setup. <clears throat> um, I got the carburetors off. It's at the shop right now getting gone through. Uh, still having issues with it. So I'm just having the carb shop go through it. Uh, hopefully have it next week. So, okay, let's start with the clutch setup. So... Clutch is up. Okay, it's made about there. Looks like it's a lot higher than the other one, which, I mean, it is, but I think it's a little bit higher than it was normally. Nice full throw. So, there's the slave cylinder, the slave cylinder, the master cylinder, that's a 93 Ranger, then I had to modify the rod longer, you can see I used a uh, grade 8 bolt, see the thread's part of it still where it goes into the master cylinder. So that, I just had to uh, drill a couple different holes for the mounting. So again, that's a 93 Ford Ranger. Oops, sorry. I'm lighting the way. And again, there it is. 93 Master Cylinder. Comes with the hose. Uh, this reservoir is the I grabbed this out of the boneyard out of a uh, mid-2000 Ranger, so they're all the same anyway. So that's the <clears throat> reservoir. Uh, okay, let me, uh, hold on, I'll be right back. So the original line from the master to the slave on a Ranger is a thick, hard plastic formed line. It's got a weird end on it that goes into the master. And I didn't know that how I was gonna get a, a aftermarket line. So I went on Summit and they actually make it, sell it. So this is that weird fitting that you just push into the master and then a roll pin holds it in. And then this is a, a th dash three AN fitting here's the original fitting and then it had the hard plastic line on it that you couldn't do nothing with and it, they sell it and it comes in two that's the number they sell it as a pair I think it was like fifteen dollars okay, from summit took care of that that braided stainless line i got it on amazon it's 24 inches long and it's uh dash three on both sides but i have a 90 on the transmission side and if this line was a quarter of an inch shorter i wouldn't have been able to use it So, uh, so you see the, that's a uh, 92B2200 Mazda slave cylinder, factory stock replacement one. It's $12.99 at AutoZone. And then I just got, I can't get my hand in here. This is a Dash 3 fitting to eighth inch pipe and then that was uh, Summit. It's for uh, actually for nitrous lines, and that was like 
16 bucks. And then, the, like I said, this line I got on Amazon, it was 25 bucks, I think. And then I made this bracket. Okay. Made this bracket. It sits in the side of the bell housing here. It's kind of hard to see. It's in the side of the bell housing, and then there's a a bolt hole, like a boss, on the side of the transmission case. And I actually put one bolt going right up through it with a welded nut on the back side of this angle iron. And then I have I can't see it, but there's a bolt into the other side of the bell housing over here, yeah, right here, right there. So those two bolts, and then I this is the this is that made-up rod that I had to make. It's the factory fork for the clutch setup, for the uh, cable-driven clutch setup, or the cable setup, except it would come from that hole, pull it that way, so now I made it so this pushes. And uh, it's been working fine. I'm gonna probably have to make a different rod again because I'm running out of adjustment. So, but uh, it works beautiful, and I just gotta make a, a new rod that's probably out of a regular piece of threaded rod because it's got to be threaded the whole way <clears throat> and uh yeah it works beautiful um i'll set up my camera and you can see the throw on it let's see So I'm happy with that setup. Real simple and um, works good. Um, I still got to mount this Ranger double cup holder. And um, I cut my old low car automatic shifter handle. welded it on to the T5 original one. Um, but this is going to be mounted. Oops. This is going to be mounted like this. It sits on that base. And this will be something like that. This boot. kind of finished but it's getting there <laughs> but uh yeah that's my clutch setup uh hope it can help somebody else figure out and make their own because it's much easier than trying to figure out a clutch uh, cable setup so thanks for watching